We uh, doing a baseball game. Tracy! Weekend? What's up, Tracy? Tracy Morgan in studio. His first visit on the brand oh, new man. show. He's going to be at Caroline's uh, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. 212 757 4100 for ticket information. But. I mean, you've blown up so big. We don't even have to sell Who? these shows, right? When? Wow, you've blown up, bro. A little bit. A little I'm bit. You know, I'm still out there getting them pregnant and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You gonna wear bags? Ever? Nah, never. Nah. Hey, where's Kim? Let me. Let me. Can I smell Kim? Thank you. Sniffing Jimmy's fingers. Yes, that's great. I yeah. think she said her name was Kim. She had a wig and a Colby jersey. I hope, <laughs> I hope it was a she. <laughs> it's good to be back here with you guys, man. I miss yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, it, word up. Definitely. Well, we, Last time we saw each other, we went through, what, 30 cases at the baseball game? I was pitching. Yeah, we uh, we first met Tracy. Uh, Jim Brewer introduced us to Tracy. The Brewer was talking about Tracy Morgan for years, and we finally got yeah. to meet Tracy at our celebrity softball game. But Brewer just brought him along. He wasn't really doing our show at that point or anything. And Tracy just freaking stole the show. I had a great time, man. At one point, I was in like the pool naked with yeah. like two chicks, yeah, man. Well, you gotta yeah, understand, we, got we do these celebrity softball games from time to time, and there were 6,000 people at the last one. No exaggeration. It was sold out at a minor league stadium. And Tracy decided he needed a pitch, so he walks out of the dugout <laughs> in just his tidy whities man. His it was underwear. a jock, right? With your yeah. Pair was it, a jock? Jock? Yeah. it was just a jock strap. That was all jock he was wearing. Jock cleats. I'm in the books. I'm in the books now. I mean, they open up the Opie, Opie Anthony show. I'm in the books. I'm in the books. You know, no Fugazi here. Dude, those pictures have circulated around the internet for years. Yeah. Right? For years. I, they pop up every once in a while when I'm doing searches. Yeah. You pitching in a jock strap in front of 6,000 people. With a gut. With a gut. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah you're, you're a, a lot thinner. Speed what? bump. You got that Hollywood thinness to you what now. What happened? You trimmed down the whole there. lot. And I got on some no carb stuff, you know. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a carnivore. I'm a New York guy, man. Yeah. I love my carbs, man. And you know, it's just crazy out there, man. But I'm having a good time. Yeah, I'm you're partying. All Hollywood Slim now. Nah, you know I me. Mean? I'm still, I still drink my beer and all that. My yeah. brewage, yeah. Got you know, it. just got it. I just got into a, 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 a I just got into a, a shoving match at the club the other night. Get out with, with who? Yeah, with my cousin. Really? Yeah, man. I mean, I don't drink Cristal. No, no. brewage. Yeah, I drink brewage. Why is my bill sixteen hundred bucks? Right? <laughs> and why is it coming to me, dude? So two of my chains. I lost. I had like two platinum chains, and they got ripped off my my neck and everything. So wait, your cousin is drinking the Cristal? No, he was drinking brew too. He just ordered his as a gag. Are you kidding me? He <laughs> ordered it as a gag. He said, "You're yeah, rich. You got a TV show." I said, "No, like, the show got canceled, dude. <laughs> Can't order stuff like that now, man." And they come up to you with a bill, and you're getting a shoving match with your cousin. Yeah, man. Did you kick his ass? Nah, no punches were thrown. We just no. grabbed each other's shirts. A few buttons popped off. That was yeah. it. I broke a nail, though. I'm Hollywood <laughs> now. <laughs> you gotta watch out. I don't eat carbs. I'm Hollywood. I'm La Brea. <laughs> you know, getting back to the celebrity software. <laughs> The best, the best part of the celebrity softball game was afterwards. We were in the, uh, in the, in the, uh, the locker room. That's there. what yeah, Michael Jackson touched me, but y'all didn't know that. <laughs> That's what Michael Jackson touched and me. And you were hammered, man. You, yeah. you had to, you had to have a case, half a case of beer oh, each. Yeah. And, 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 and a little of this, you know. Yeah, a little of this. for Dolo. And uh, then that's you, mess marijuana, not coke. Then you right. were trying to rally the troops to get a get a uh, a trip going to Harlem. Yeah. You wanted to like get all the white white boys together. And let's go up to Harlem. Yeah, a little field trip to I, Harlem. I had a I had a, a couple of strippers that I wanted to introduce you guys to. Right, that's you know? right. Yeah, We're young, fresh, and green. Yeah. I've never left harder in my life. No exaggeration. You are so on talking about how white we really were and that we needed a, a field trip to Harlem. <laughs> yeah, we little to soul, there. man. You know what I'm saying? Get you guys some afros and stuff like that. We'd have been great. You know, shake a few people down. We'd have been great. Call them in like the old days, though, now. They're Good cop, of, bad cop. You know what it is. They're Good kind cop. of, uh, I don't know, they're reworking Harlem. They're fixing yeah. everything well, up. Well, what happened was a Starbucks appeared. Yeah. That's when I knew it was going That's down. That's the beginning, here. right? Yeah. Genevieve's and the Starbucks uh -huh. came to the ghetto. <laughs> Genevieve's and, and the Starbucks. That's when it's going commercial. And then uh, who bought the Apollo and fixed that all up? Wasn't it like white people? Mm-hmm. Like some white yeah, people. Some white bought, people bought the Apollo. You know that. We ain't have the money. We ain't have the bread. No. Uh, I think this white dude bought one of um, Whitney Houston's Grammys. <laughs> <laughs> I went to. I went next door. It was Whitney Houston's neighbor. I went to his crib. 
Really? And I seen a Grammy sitting on the coffee table. I said, sir, how did you get that? He said, don't you worry about it. <laughs> and then I looked on the wall. He had my prerogative platinum album on, the, on his wall. I said, how'd you get that? He said, don't worry about it. Yeah, they knew I said, this is a garage short. sale out over there. You know Whitney Houston lost a tooth? Yeah? I really? Heard she lost a tooth, man. Really? Mm-hmm. How do, you, how do you think she lost the tooth? I don't know. I don't know. I hope Bobby ain't smoking. I don't know. It's either Bobby knocked it out or she chipped it uh, with a crack pipe. <laughs> I don't know. Man, she just looks like a crackhead these days. Yeah, you got to leave that coke alone, man. It's 99 and 0. You can't win. Nah. Yeah, you can't win. She sweats like a pig. You see Bridget Nielsen? Yeah. Whoa, she she's used on to the, be a hot chick. She's on the coke, you She think? used to be a hot chick, Probably, yeah. man. She used to that be just bad. might be time, I, I, though. I, I, I still get her pregnant, though. Oh. <laughs> I still beat that. Nah. I'll get her pregnant in a heartbeat. What? That's Bridget Nielsen. Oh. She dating Foofy Foofy. <laughs> <laughs> That's over, though, because she ended up marrying the Italian dude. She did? Oh, yeah. Wow. The Italian midget, they what? call him. So you don't, wait, wait, you don't wear bags at all. I don't like wearing bags. Do you, do you like when they tell you that you don't have to pull out? Like, I like that when they tell me that I'm on the pill and you don't have to pull out. There's something really yes. sexy. Why? Yes. 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 Yeah. Because I'm we old school, man. We are yeah. old school. I can't take the time out to rip a package and all. Come on, man. I'm 36 years old. My concentration got to be right there. Yeah, but you don't want to. It's like when you, know, you, when you masturbate, everything got to be quiet. The pillows don't touch my arm. I don't want the pillows touching my arm. <laughs> I get everything straight. I got to set everything up. Got to do like six push-ups. You know what I'm saying? Just get everything straight. Fix the track in, the contrast on the TV. No music playing in the background. No Nothing. music. Nope. Everything no. got to be silent. You ever notice when you masturbate, everything sound like a car door slamming? <sighs> well, outside distractions? Yeah. Yeah, it's off. Can't do it, dog. Can't do it. It's like when you have sex with your woman after you've been with her for like 10 years. You know, you got to concentrate and you got to focus on that dead roach in the corner. <laughs> You got to focus on that balled up, uh, ball of dirty socks. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Complete is it concentration. Bad? You know what the aroma is when grown people have sex? Uh, when you, you ever walk by a room after, like, two grown people have sex? <laughs> it smells like um, coffee. It smells like um, potato chips and pretzels. <laughs> um, it smells like butt, <laughs> testicles, um, Bacardi and Coke, <laughs> uh, Marlboro Lights, and Double Mint. <laughs> <laughs> that's the smell of love. Dirty socks and tears. <laughs> Bus, that's what, you ever, like, my son is 19, right? Yeah. And all he does is masturbate at this point. You know, I got to get him something because he's going to go pop. He might kill me and his mother, you know, and say that the devil made him do it or something. <laughs> I got to get him laid. I got to get this dude laid. But you know what his room smells like, right? Bus off in socks. Of oh, yeah. Really? Oh, he's God. 19. He tried, I caught him. He was humping my leg the other day, man. <laughs> well, I had to beat him with a newspaper. Why doesn't he have a girlfriend? I don't know. The dude is into his academics. Oh, really? He's yeah. into academics. That kind of gets in the way sometimes. Yeah, he's into you know? academics. I said, oh, that man. That gets in the way, You bro. don't know, you brother. Gotta get off that stuff. When I was 19, by the, ni by the time I was 19, I had an empire already. Yeah? Yeah. yeah I had several kids. Several Of which kids. I've never claimed. How many kids do you think you got? Mm, good be between 12 and about 35 <laughs> <laughs> I told you I don't use bags man you never we don't we don't pull out no, I think that's a real woman when she said no you don't got to go ahead go for yeah. it well maybe she's just looking yeah. for the Tracy Morgan money well you know whenever I need whenever I need uh, you know income taxes and stuff like that oh some fine. deductions you know me man I'm like Jim Brown baby I'm in the Hall of Fame. As a matter of fact, I'm doing a celebrity golf tournament oh, what? while I'm in town. Yes, it's a it's a benefit for uh, women with C-section scars. <laughs> I'm trying to raise some money for C-section scars and stretch marks. Are you, know, you, uh, my thing. Are you a golfer, uh, Tracy? Uh, no, but no? you know, we just put together and the keys. One of the keynote Surprising. speakers will be Al Sharpton. Uh, Benoit Benjamin will be speaking. Sharpton is a golfer. <laughs> Benoit Benjamin. Who's that? Benoit Benjamin testified against uh, Jason Williams for the Nets. That's right. Remember? Really? Benoit was sleeping on his couch and he testified. See, if I was Jason Williams, I would have said yes. I would have just implicated the Harlem Globetrotters. I would have kept putting the word <laughs> cocaine and Globetrotters together. Because they'd be loved. And I know a lot of people in that jury, in the jury box, loved them. So I would have just said yes. Yes. I admit. I was doing cocaine with the Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> yes. Yes, me and the G-Trotters was doing coke. Yes. I didn't mean to shoot nobody, but yes.
Metal lock, lemon butt, four eight balls. <laughs> yes, yes, Curly McNeil. Yes, I was sniffing with coke with Curly. Yes, I'm sorry. Do some tricks. Yeah. Distract the jury a little mm -hmm. bit. Sure. There's someone on the phone that has a Tracy Morgan story. Uh oh. Let's here go here go. for a second. Colin in Connecticut. Colin. Hey guys, what's going on? Well, we have Tracy Morgan in uh, studio. He's playing Caroline's all this weekend here in New York City. Well, I was uh, I was an intern at uh, Saturday Night Live. Uh, five years ago, and uh, Trey, I don't know if you remember me. Uh, my name's Colin Cosell. Uh, oh, what's up, Colin? That's that's Howard Cosell's grandson. I've actually met him too. I think. Yeah, that's really? my dude. That's yeah, my Jimmy, dude. Wait, Jimmy Howard Cosell was your grandfather? Yeah, Jimmy and I did uh, stand up. Stand up New York together. So yeah. Oh no, kidding. Yeah. Uh, what's up, bro, bro? How you been, man? I cannot complain, my man, but uh, I've got the best Tracy Morgan story ever. Shoot. Uh, they brought in a new intern one day. And uh, this kid was completely starstruck, and Trey's just like, yo, Colin, go and grab this kid, bring him down the hall, and tell him Trey Morgan's got something to tell him. And I was like, all right, so I, was, I grabbed this kid, I think his name was Winston. I said, Winston, Tracy Morgan wants to see you. He goes, really? And his jaw drops, and his eyes are big, and he cannot wait. Bring him into uh, Tracy Morgan's dressing room, because Trey used to let me go and smoke cigarettes in there. Thank you very much, Trey. Right on, baby. And, um... Sits him down, and uh, he's got a chair right there, and he, he pops in this orange video cassette. Now, he's got an <laughs> orange video cassette. It's either a Disney film or a nasty-ass porn. <laughs> and he pops it in, and lo and behold, there's this black dude with this 18-inch thong <laughs> and this white girl dressed as a cheerleader blowing him. And this kid's fucking eyes blew out of his head. Blew out of his head. That's right. Remember that scene? Oh, dude, that was... That Just was to loosen them up, right? <laughs> that'll outside, loosen. <laughs> real people do real things. Oh, hell yeah, man. Go outside to smoke a blood, and people will ask for his phone number, and he'd say, Colin, take this and walk the other way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gave I gave the guy the tape, too. Oh, man. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> It was crazy, man. But, we had uh, a good time, though. Yeah, we did. But uh, like the fact nice that this is Howard Cosell's grandson. I know. I, 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 I haven't totally... Looked... That was my dude, man. Yo, we used to go to lunch together, man. He used to tell me stories about his grandfather, you know? Yeah, how, how old were you when uh, when he passed away? That was uh, April 23rd, 95. I was 15. So 15. So you, you had you had some time with him. I mean, you I remember him. I had a lot him. of time with him. No, yeah. he was around constantly. Who has the toupee? Uh, <laughs> now, I've heard rumors that someone has the toupee. Uh, that that's that's impossible. I I used to put the tape in for when my grandmother uh, passed away. I used to put the tape in that thing for him. Wow. Yeah. No, I mean, we were very very <laughs> close. Hey, did you ever meet Ali? Oh, of course. Nah. Oh man, you want to hear a great story? I was six years old, and uh, that was the first time I met Ali. Six years old, and uh, I wake up to this big black man shaking me and saying, "Come on, little man, your grandfather wants you to come have lunch with us." And I wake up, there's this gigantic black man <laughs> shaking me. <laughs> And I'm wow. like, what in the fuck is going on? <laughs> Six years That's old. all you know at the time. He, he walks me out, and I'm shaking. I'm like, hi, Papa. Who's this? He, oh, you met Muhammad, I see. I'm like, yes, I did. He said, Muhammad is a good friend of mine and the greatest of all time. I was like, okay, this means nothing. Really. <laughs> that is a great impression, dude. Wow. Well, he's, uh... well, I grew up with him, man. I used to listen to him screaming at the, the uh, television. We got him into hockey, and he used to yell, uh, John Van Beesbrook. We taught him that his nickname was Beezer. So he'd sit there going, Beezer! <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for halftime. I need to take a tinny. And you're like, what? what the thing? <laughs> Isn't that funny? This guy's just like, that's his grandfather. Everyone has their like kooky grandfather <laughs> stories, but yeah. this is Howard Cosell. Yeah. He has an impression and all that. Yeah. Hey, dude, they should put you on Saturday Night Live, man. I wish they would. I Word up. the work, goddammit. <laughs> right on. Well, we got to get you in here. I would love to go in there, man. All right. Hell yeah. Well, hold on the you line. We're going to get your contact info and have you in. Oh, Bye. Jimmy's shaking his head no? What? No, it's not. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, Jimmy doesn't want you I'm in like, here. Jimmy's like, no, that's not true. No, <laughs> I, like, I actually liked him. We met in Stand Up New York. He was, he was a nice dude, man. I liked him a lot. And uh, actually, my friends were so excited to meet Jimmy that uh, Jimmy was just moving to his new apartment, and uh, I introduced my friends to him because they were big fans of Jimmy Norton. And uh, Who isn't? I, I mean, how can you not be? He's no. Gorgeous. And... Um, and they uh, they ended up having a conversation about how to hang a mirror uh, on sheetrock. <laughs> That's right, because I was worried. I, I really did. I bought an apartment. They should have just lined cocks up that I could lick on the way into my door. I bought candles and little rocks and a mirror. Ugh. Bed, bath, and beyond, Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Bed, bath, it. and beyond, right? Oh. All right. Oh, man.
So we, the, off air, they're going to take your information and stuff. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, uh, we'd love Colin. to have you in, Colin. I would love to come on, Lars. I'd love to. All right, cool. There he goes, Colin from See Connecticut. You, man. Colin, be good. Cedric. What's happening? What's up? Hey, man, I just want to know if Tracy got any steak for sale, man. I'm having a barbecue this weekend. Ha <laughs> ha! You talking about the meat man character I played? <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Uh, you know me, man. But I'll be at the barbecue, baby. Yes, word, man. Hey, uh, I'm going to invite your little brother, Spoonie Love, in, too, man. You got it, man. Let me tell you something about Spoon, man. You know, Caligula uh, invented the, um, he invented the uh, orgy, right? But Spoonie, Spoonie invented the pop-off. <laughs> you know, the jump-off, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, how, sir. How about your boy? Have a good barbecue, man. Hey, work. All right. Hey, speaking some kind of code language right I now that, that we don't quite understand. White people, white people, yeah, we, we just heard stuff. nothing, nothing, nothing. Caligula. Huh, okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> good black stuff. Hey, you, uh, you, you, how you long call you, it How long you been off uh, SNL? You've been on, you were there for a long time, man. You, yeah, I was there for seven years, but I've been off for about two now. Off for two. Do you miss it or you want to go back or no? Nah, man, I'm good. I'm moving forward. The last, I'm out of daddy's The home. last two or three uh -huh. years, you just blew up. I wanna, like for a while, I mean, my, my show got canceled, man. I went out to L.A. No, but I mean the last couple of years of Saturday Night Live, you just blew up. Yeah, I mean, that I'm like all that Will talent Ferrell was just sitting there for all those years, and then finally they used you. Yeah, it took them about four years. For it was yeah, unbelievable. Right? I'm like steaming Willie Beeman from any given it's Sunday. Like, where, was Brian Brian Kello? Was going, where, where was Brian Kello? Where was Brian Kello? You had some unbelievable characters the last couple of years there, yeah. and, and you th I'm thinking at home, all this was in them, and they're not using them. Yeah. I yeah. personally they didn't use them for many years. I don't think Lauren and I. I'm sure you love Lauren, but I, I personally don't think he uses uh, black talent very well, to be honest with no. you. And I've heard that complaint from other performers. It right. was like, uh, I mean, Murphy sure. blew up when, you know, it's, I think Ebersol was. Yeah, was, Ebersol was there. But, you it, know, huh. it takes, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I never looked at it like a color thing. Excuse me. I never looked at it like a color thing. I just take time for people to know your voice and the writers to get to know your voice. And I'm from a different world anyway. So, you know, I just yeah. leaned back for the first couple of years. I played my cards right, let them cast me and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Let them put the lipstick on me and the dresses on me and all of that. And <laughs> yeah. Cut my balls off, you know, and all of that shit, stuff. Though. And you know what I'm saying? Um, but then after a while, then all the heavy hitters started breaking out. So I just said, you know, I stepped up. I stepped right in there. Yeah. And I'm I'm glad it happened like that because you know then I got my own TV show which got canceled after 22 episodes. What happened? You did 22, though. I don't know. You would have to ask NBC. I got 22, but you know when I went out to L.A., my vagina was nice and pretty. <laughs> now I look like a orangutan back there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, big pink orangutan cootie cat. <laughs> I got the big baboon cootie cat now. Red and sore. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, abuse. it was nice and pretty when I got out there, you know. I saw you on Sharon Osbourne's show. Cooking, uh, what were you cooking? Like little beans and franks. It was really yeah, pork, funny, man. Pork and beans and franks with grape Kool Aid. It was really that's funny. A, that's a ghetto delicacy, man. That's a ghetto delicacy. <laughs> it's called franks and bean casserole with yes. with grape Kool Aid. Grape Kool Aid, of course. With a little slice of lemon in it. And I got to cook uh, a sweet potato pie because when they when you get these TV shows, you do a lot of press. Yeah. I mean, they you you amp up. I mean, NBC pulled out all the stops. You know, I was the next Cosby show and all of that mm -hmm. stuff. So I got to cook a, a sweet potato pie with Bo Jackson and everything. Really? You know I'm on the anti-doping committee for comedians. I didn't know So that. if you're smoking marijuana before you said, I'm going to see you out there. You're going to be tested in these clubs. <laughs> <laughs> you know who's going to be the surprise witness in this Michael Jackson case, right? Oh. It's going to be Bubbles. The yeah, chimp. I know. They're very yeah, the distracting, chimp. aren't they? What are you guys doing? The chimp. Just you think he all that shit alone right now. The chimp going to pull the zipper down. It's going to be Jim Brewer. It's going to be Jim Brewer in the chimp suit. <laughs> oh, he's a psycho. You're going to see Michael Jackson. They're going to bring, they're going, the bailiff is going to walk Bubbles down the aisle. And Bubbles is going to glimpse at Mike. Mike going to turn the defense table over and say, you banana-eating chimpanzee witness protection program, you be eating bananas in Alaska after I'm done with you. What do you think, Mike? And you Bubbles going to uh... say, no, no, i seen it all, Your Honor. i seen it all. Yes, he touched one of them boys over there by the teacups. Did you, when you, when you show like... Yeah, one of them little boys by the giraffe enclosement. <laughs> you went for a year on the show. Do you, do you did it? Did it not, I didn't. I actually didn't see it. <laughs> That's great. Did they? Did you? Did they, they write stuff that you didn't like, or, or were you happy with the final product and it just didn't get ratings? I didn't. Of see course, it. I was a black dude. But what I'm gonna say? What they wrote stuff that I'm you quite thought sure was like the slaves ain't want to pick cotton either. <laughs> <laughs> what you had to well, do? Slaves didn't make do. thirty grand a week. <laughs> I bet you. I bet you. I bet you the slaves were smoking weed. 
They used to stop in the middle of pick and go, you see all this cotton we got to pick? Get high, man. You can't pick all this cotton sober. That's good. You're liking that Egg McMuffin there, huh? That's um, a sausage no, no. McMuffin. That's a good. sausage? Uh, so much for no carbs. It smells really good, though. <laughs> One bite? <laughs> no, thanks, man. Wait, someone is saying that you had the funniest line ever on uh, SNL. What? Scott in Chicago. If it's about Britney? Hey. Hey. I think Tracy delivered the funniest line in the history of Saturday Night Live. I love you. God bless your soul. <laughs> when you did Astronaut Jones. Mm-hmm. And she was the alien asking for oh, help yeah. to save her planet. I said, I said why don't you so turn around like, and show me that big fat ass? Big fat <laughs> ass. <laughs> Remember the whole I, sketch? I was like, yeah, right. Uh-huh. I could not stop. Like, what was that like? Was she pissed about that? Or? Who? Nah, they loved it, baby. They loved it. But didn't you improv that? That wasn't the original line. You added to that line. Yeah. Yeah, I did a lot. I used to do that all the <laughs> and time. And Britney didn't have a problem with that? Nah, I tongue kissed Britney about six, seven times oh, that wow. whole week. Because I was doing, but but that wasn't that. When I used to do um, Woodrow, which was the guy that lived in the sewer, mm-hmm. he got the girls, but, you know, right. I got to kiss them. I kissed Lucy Lou, and I would, like, try to put my tongue in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like, at the time, she was dating Justin, he was standing right there, and I dared him to say something. You know the reason why Brad Pitt and um, Jennifer Aniston broke up, right? Mm-hmm. Me. You. you. Stop calling the house, Brad. Leave it alone, okay? It's over. <laughs> Stop calling the house. She's pregnant by me. Leave it alone. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Walk away, Brad. Would you smell Would you smell her uh, Her ass, Jennifer Come Aniston? Come on, man. Jennifer Aniston could <laughs> fart in my mouth. <laughs> I'm a freak, baby. I'm a freak. He's old school filthy. I I'm love a Tracy. Freak. I'm a weedy beedy bing bong freak. Come over here and fart in my mouth. <laughs> oh, that's great. Get you- over here. Hug J-Lo at the same time. Poop right in my mouth. Mm. I'm with <laughs> I'm a weedy beedy bing bong freak. What do you think about Britney being pregnant there, Tracy? That's my child. <laughs> really? That's, that's going to be... It's going to come out. Everything's going to come out. All the facts are going to come out. That's going to be a surprise. <laughs> that body's getting ruined, though. Nah, that's the way I like it. Yeah? What, all Stretch the, marks and all that. Lucy. It's the mark of womanhood. I like cellulite. Any woman that go against cellulite is going against womanhood. That's all about... Hey, that got to be jelly, because jam don't shake like that. You like... <laughs> You you like a woman after she's had mm, a, a kid mm, or two? Yeah. Yeah? I don't like nothing new. No? But my money. <laughs> <laughs> I want a woman that been through the fire. Through the fire. Really? The damn yeah. You, the damn. <laughs> you don't like them all nice and uh, tight? Hey, listen, I'm not a scorer. I'm a rebounder. <laughs> if you're coming out of bad relation, come see me. I'm Matt Catalans. Come see me. I I, hey, I take kids, I step kids, all of that. Force <laughs> the kids. Yeah, yeah, come yeah. with come see me. If you are if you getting social security checks with them kids, give me half. I'll take care of your life. Well, I don't you don't see many guys like that. Yes, I'm a rebounder. I dive over the scores table for a rebound. Bad <laughs> relationships, I'm with it. <laughs> We should play. I like, and, and, and it's a bonus if you got crust on the back of your feet. Oh, oh God. Man. With that Damn. little black welfare toenail at the uh, end. Uh. <laughs> that is really nasty, man. See the women wearing the sandals or something in the store? And they're shuffling along, and there's just that big calloused, crusty thing That's on the back I love. of their heel. You like That's that? That's sexy. It's like yellowish. You know, white. You, you ain't made love until you had a woman that's in a vegetative state or something. <laughs> I don't like resistance, man. I like to get straight to really? the point. <laughs> like a Terry Schiavo kind of. When you're fucking well, the arms, just flop over the side yeah, of the bed and yeah, don't move. You know, that's what like be dangling over your shoulders and stuff. Like I had this one chick that, you know, I, one crippled chick. That was my thing. Really? You know? Hey, man, it's sexy. It's a sexy thing when, a, when you uh, sneak up into ICU. <laughs> Yeah. And have sex with a woman with IVs hanging out of her arm. That's sexy. And that, that, yeah. You know what they say? Sometimes white guys like to uh, drive around and, and find black prostitutes and break their arm. Really? Sadistic white dudes from the break suburbs. Break the arm. Break that arm. When they, Why? When they get having oral sex, they just break that arm. Some Why? guys, Some white guys get off on that. I never heard that. Yeah, I've never wow. heard that in my life. You never tragic. seen a, you never seen a prostitute with a cast I've on. I've seen some prostitutes with their cast. God damn, yeah, the John on. broke her arm. That's because of white John guy. broke her arm. I always assumed it was the pimp or something. <laughs> yeah. No, the pimp don't care. He sent her to the hospital to get that cast on. <laughs> then all the other chicks right. on the strip sign her cast. You ever seen a baby with a cast on? That's dark, right? I love dark. That's pretty humor. sad. <laughs> dark. You always assume it was greatest, something bad. I was the one that told <laughs> Luke Skywalker, F Obi-Wan Kenobi. Really? We're going to hang out with the Emperor and Darth Vader. That's where the party's at. 
<laughs> we going to the Death Star. I was I booed Star Wars. Why? Cause Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah. Damn man, the Force be with you. Come on, man. Emperor Darth Vader. You seen that suit? You seen Obi Wan Kenobi suit? Did you see Darth Vader suit? Darth Vader got fashion sense. He he probably redid that. <laughs> Sean John made that Darth Vader suit. You know Papa Smurf was a bad drinker. What? Wow. He has two domestic violence charges for putting his hands on Smurfette. He drove a Cutler Sierra. You can he change knocked, directions. <laughs> he He's down, all over the road he today. He knocked down two or three mushrooms over in Smurfville trying to park that car one night. <laughs> no, we got to play for Tracy? Do you uh, know Batman and Robin really uh -oh. didn't get along? Unbeknownst. Unbeknownst. <laughs> because Robin smoked Marlboro Lights and he burnt a hole in the back seat in the passenger side <laughs> and Batman begged him. First of all, there was a lot of resentment there because Robin didn't never have a belt. He no, said, he why didn't have Robin, a yeah. belt. He hated Commissioner Gordon. He thought Commissioner Gordon was a jerk. <laughs> this is what Robin, he said, he's a jerk. Yeah. He keeps putting the bat signal in the air. How you think you're joking them? No, we coming. <laughs> why he just use the phone? That's why Verizon installed them. <laughs> he had a big cock, by the way, Robin. Yeah. Legendarily big cock. He had to wear two little things to keep it from yep. bulging out. Oh, really? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Come on. Yo, it, it's like Janet Jackson. You know, one titty popping out? Come on, that's comedy. Mm -hmm. If both would have popped out, we would have been like, oh, that's <laughs> sexy. But one is like, boom, <laughs> oh, boom, titty popped out. That was, a, that, that was, for me, I mean, America went crazy. But that was just like two black chicks having a fight. You know, whoever yeah. titty pop out, that's the winner. <laughs> <laughs>